The Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine 2023 is awarded to Katalin Caricó and Drew Weissman for the groundbreaking discovery that base modification of messenger RNA can be used to develop effective vaccines against COVID-19 infection. Most licensed vaccines against viruses that we have today they are based on more traditional technologies where we are using attenuated or, or inactivated viruses. But the production is rather complicated, it takes time and it's also rather expensive. So the concept that messenger RNA could be used in vaccines, it was actually launched already 30 years ago. But it has really been difficult to develop as a clinical usage. The problem has been really to get enough effectiveness, but also that they can use very, very high inflammatory response. So the prize winners, what they discovered was that you can use base modifications of the messenger RNA and thereby reduce the inflammatory reaction, but also get a much more effective vaccines with a higher production of uh, the proteins and a better antibody response. And these mRNA vaccines, they are not infectious, and they are not going into the cell nucleus. And they have the advantage of being developed very fast, they are easily produced and can be easily modified, and to a relatively low cost. But the mRNA can be degraded, and that's why uh, these mRNA has been embedded in liposomes, these are lipid nanoparticles, and thereby stabilizing the messenger RNA and also in being able to be delivered uh, to humans in a safe way. So this discovery has enabled very fast development of very effective vaccines against COVID-19, which is really of the greatest benefit for humankind. Because the pandemic has been really a tremendous threat uh, for humankind, and we really needed effective uh, measures and fast measures against this uh, disease to really combat the infection. And the mRNA vaccines have been shown to, to be really developed incredibly fast, but also to be very, very effective and probably have saved millions of lives. This discovery paves the way for a new vaccine platform based on messenger RNA, where we could potentially produce vaccines against other uh, diseases, such as many infections, and also potentially to cancer.